Today I'll be showing you how to enable logging on your Talkman devices. The first thing that you need to do is log into your Voice Console application with a user account that has permissions to enable logging on devices. Once you've logged in, click on the Voice Console tab and then on the Device Management tab. Here you'll see all of the devices that are in your Voice Console system. You'll want to highlight the row of a device or devices that you want to enable logging on. You do this by clicking anywhere on the line where there isn't a hyperlink. You can select multiple lines by holding down the control key on your keyboard and selecting another line. In this case, I only actually want to enable logging on one device, so I'll click on that row again. Once you have the device highlighted that you want to enable the logging on, come under your device actions here and hover over manage devices. Once this menu comes out, you'll go down to enable logging for the selected devices. Once you've clicked on that, you're going to get this pop-up window. And here you can see how many devices you currently have logging in your system, what the limit of logging is, and then you have a choice to select how long you want this log to run for. You can choose an hour, four hours, eight hours, one day, or a full week. I'm going to go ahead and select one hour for this demonstration. You also have the option to restart logging after this logging stops. This can be useful, but you need to keep an eye on it. If you select this, the log will continue to grow. And if it gets too large, you could have some serious issues in even trying to open the log. So our recommendation for Mountain Leverage is never select more than one week and don't select to restart the logging after this logging stops. Once you have your choices made, you can select Yes, Enable Logging for these selected devices. One other thing I would like to point out here is that if your voice console manages multiple sites and you only have permissions to see one site in voice console, you may actually see here a number of devices that are logging, even if you don't have any devices logging in your specific site. All right, so let's go ahead and click Yes to enable logging. And you'll get this green ribbon up here telling you that logging has been enabled for that device. And if you look at the log uh, action items column, you'll see logging and view log. But the logging state at this point, it is still starting. Now this device is asleep, so it may take it a moment or two for the logging to start. I'm going to go ahead and wake the device up. And as you can see, just by me pushing the buttons and bringing it on, the logging has enabled. Now, once your log is running, you're going to want to do whatever actions um, with that device that you're trying to capture a problem for. So if your operators are having a problem logging into the devices, you know, obviously have them try to log in. But if they're having an issue while they're out on the floor picking, and perhaps the issue is random, your best bet is to enable logging for at least a full shift of work and let the operator use the device and then collect the log at the end of that shift. So collecting the log, you can either view the log and then from that view log page, say download this device log. Or if you have a number of devices that are logging and you'd like to grab all the logs at one time, you can simply go to the device logs which you can navigate to it from the menu up here. Or if you're on your device management page, you'll see a device logs navigation here. This takes you to a page that lists all of the devices that are logging and all the logs you have in your system. From here, you can select a log that you want to download 
or again using the control key on your keyboard you can select multiple lines and then you'll have an option under device log actions to download selected device logs and that's pretty much all there is to enabling logging on devices and downloading the logs Thank you.